maximum 10 years in prison and a $20,000 fine. Do you understand the nature of each charge? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand the national penalty that I described to you this morning? Yes, ma'am. Do you have the right to be represented by a lawyer throughout the proceedings on this case? If you are indigent, that means without funds. I will appoint a lawyer to represent you at no cost to you. Do you understand your right to counsel? Yes, ma'am. No plea will be taken on these two charges because they're felonies. Instead, I'm going to set them for a preliminary hearing. At that hearing, the state will have the opportunity to present evidence to try and show that there's probable cause to believe that you committed these offenses. If the state does, in fact, prove probable cause, this case will be transferred to the Lorraine County Court of Common Pleas and presented to the grand jury there. Do you understand the proceedings so far? Yes, ma'am. Are you going to hire a lawyer to represent you? No, ma'am. I can't afford one. I'll have you fill out paperwork with the bailiff there to apply for court-appointed counsel. I will review that. Mr. Brenda, does the state want to bring back on this? No. We'll get you the time and date of your preliminary hearing on a criminal record that's going to be faxed over to the jail. I next need to address the issue of bond. Mr. Klaus, what is your residence? I live at 51327 Peck Wadsworth Road with my wife and children. How long have you resided there? We've lived there for a few months now. Do you have a job? Yes, I work at Green Circle Growers. How long have you held your position there? Only a couple months. Mr. Brenda, the state's unusual bond brief. Judge, I... Mr. Klaus, this is your opportunity to make any statement you'd like to on the issue of bond. I just, I don't know what to say, Your Honor. I know I've done a very stupid thing that I don't remember having. Mr. Klaus, we're just addressing the issue of bond. I can't afford any bond, so I have no one to bail me out. Based upon the allegations, the nature of the two offenses herein, the injury to the victim, the fact the firearm was allegedly used, the defendant's history of substance abuse and violence, pursuant to Revised Code 2937.222, and finding that you pose a substantial risk of physical harm, serious physical harm to this community, I'm going to impose a no-release condition. A no-release condition will reasonably assure the safety of this community. You may have this reviewed within three days with counsel, so I will have counsel appoint it to you if the lawyer wants to review this. But the bottom line is, no bond at this time. Do you have any questions about the proceedings, Mr. Klaus? No, ma'am. All right. Anything further from the State of Ohio? Thank you. 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 Thank